Goosebumps by Goosebumps Fan. Um, this is a kind of a conversion project. I didn't know there was even glass. Um, I don't know if that makes any difference. The library part one, 21, 15, and three. So it's a conversion, there's some stuff that's different. I think it's probably supposed to be creepy. Goosebumps, presumably the R.L. Stein children's book series. Oh, we gotta reload this thing, huh? The menu shows zero. Okay, so 12 is all I got left. I get it. So far it's pretty basic, just a maze of rectangles. Yeah, look at that. And um, this is a beginner making this map. I mean, there's a lot of time put into modifications, obviously, but you can still tell just some very basic beginner moves. Like, like these, the reason that's a different color is because you can tell that those are going to open up at some point. Either that, or they're just made wrong. Because if they don't open up at some point, then they shouldn't be sectors. Didn't I get the... Oh, I got the red key. Monsters are demons. Part three secrets. Oh gosh, that's it. <clears throat> All right, well, I mean, not the greatest. All rectangles. The one area that looked like it might be brutal, there's really no reason to stay out there. Um, yeah, very basic progression. Not really my style of stuff. I, I mean, I don't really like conversion projects, usually, anyway. The conversion elements here are pretty... They're not very noticeable so far, just a few... Monsters. Um, but yeah, I mean... You can definitely tell it's beginner stuff, but let's go on. And do part two. It's five maps. Uh, okay... I don't know if we're supposed to pistol start. There's a shotgun right there, so it doesn't really matter much yet. Of glue. I guess that means health. Yeah, it's the same. This is like the same thing as map one. Just very basic moving around and. Rifle. That's weapon four. Oh. 
I wonder which one's better. Apparently the chain gun's better. But I kinda like the rifle. That's nice that I get the spider spider demon chain gun. <laughs> That's one sound effect I actually appreciate. Usually I don't even like sound effect changes. But yeah, we're gonna be done before we know it here. Those were. Did those use different ammo? I don't even know. Alright. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna save here. I don't remember. If I'm supposed to pistol start or not. But normally I pistol start unless I'm told not to. Um. So yeah, first two, not really anything exciting going on. Just kind of getting used to some of the new stuff. Now this is very different. So some of these demons fall in one hit. And some of them fall in two hits. I don't think any of them are taking three. Oh, I gotta take a look at my text. Alright. Ah, one more coming in. Oh, okay. One moment. Um, so yeah, I don't really love that, how all the... Um, a lot of these monsters are demons and slightly different attributes to the same looking monster. Um, I think there are at least three of them and... I'd like to see two at most different varieties of the same monster. You know, Hell Knight Baron, that's enough. A lot of wads do throw in an another one, but... I'm picky. Okay, got our super shotgun. Yeah, see? Okay, so the super shotgun reloads longer. That's a big... That's a huge difference. Like, when you actually start getting into... This is a weak one, right? I think you can bypass the extra reloading frames by holding down fire. I don't know if that's a mistake or by design. Um, but yeah, that's more like, um, that's more like the plasma gun then, or, or the BFG. I don't know if that's by design or not. I like this guy a lot. That's very nice. This, <laughs> this is the old... I call it the help keep effect. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> you don't you don't do that in 2020. Yeah, I mean nothing to look at. The, the, visually, it's just ugly. Um, gray, nothing, 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 nothing. Vine. The keys aren't even the right height here, the uh, door blue there. So I might as well go get the shotgun. Well, 
There's nothing really in there other than death, so... I appreciate the somewhat random path here. We've got some different areas to look around in. Okay, I don't know what that does. Oh, opens this door. Bind reload? I thought I had reload bound. another key. We'll go use that over, not over here, but over here. Oh. There's actually some kickback on the super shotgun too. Didn't realize that until now. It's a lift somewhere, but where? That might just be the exit. I guess not. That might be the exit. All right. So yeah, this map was suddenly very different from the first two. <clears throat> Still not anything that I particularly enjoyed. I, I don't like the subtle little changes, the super shotgun, the reloading. Let's do number four here. So... There weren't any rockets in the last map, so I'm gonna let hey! pistol start. Wow, they don't have a lot of health, do they? That hurt. Oh, that's nice.
so yeah, if you hold down fire, you can uh, keep shooting. You don't. You don't have to deal with the extra reload frames. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. Well, this has been the first reasonably exciting combat, that's for sure. Yellow, not blue. Well, hello there. Shells. What? Okay, then. That's the exact kind of thing I absolutely hate. You give me a completely normal looking monster who does his normal attack, makes his normal noises, and then suddenly has another attack also. I'm just not interested in new monsters, especially when they're not completely different. I think people think that if you make the monsters similar, that's an easier transition. No, that's a harder transition. Just make them completely different. If they're similar, then now my, um, you know, built-in tactics, muscle memory kind of works but doesn't work. So just make the monsters completely different then. We done? We're done. Alright. And map 5, the tech base. Top hat? Oh, that's armor. Hmm, maybe you are supposed to play continuous. There we go. No, maybe not. Yeah, these maps are like scythe. Light sized maps. You just. You, you see the yellow key and you go get it so quickly. Your objectives are over very fast. It's not a bad thing per se, I'm just saying it. This map seems better detailed than the previous. It's still pretty much just rectangles, but got some nicer lighting. And stuff like that. Hey! Three secrets should have only been two.
I get the revenant noise. Should be a blue key in here somewhere. It's actually a different floor right there. There are two brown floors in Doom that look very similar. Floor 7-1 and Seal 5-1. Or is it 5-2? But yeah, <laughs> you can see it there and you can see it there. Where have I not gone? There we go. Are there only three secrets? Yes. Classic maze. The maze itself isn't that bad. I think it could use some lighting variety, or maybe the whole thing should just be darker. Um, I, I think mazes like this are always good when you have a couple of roaming monsters in there just to keep you on your toes and to keep the, uh, the noises going, and we had that here. Um, I think it's good to limit four-way intersections like this and do more two and three-way intersections all right I got red that's also I know why you got the plasma gun, but I used it all. Oh well. And we're done. Alright, so, yeah, I mean, the wad's nothing really to write home about. The Goosebumps gimmick is pretty much gone right after it begins. There's nothing real creepy about this map set. Um, it's not really, like, terror or horror or atmospheric or anything. It's just a basic beginner wad. You, you can start to see it get better and better visually um, as it goes. It starts very crude and generic. Um, very short level, so that's uh, kind of appreciated but, uh, that there's not, you know, a lot of grind or anything like that. You are well equipped for all the encounters, but the encounters are just so basic. There's no real challenges anywhere, um, assuming you know what the arch file is going to do anyway. And it's very straightforward, not really any traps or multi-directional threats or anything like that. Alright, we're done. <laughs>